So for those of you who have been subscribed to the channel for a while, you know we've been following the progress of a pair of smart bone conduction glasses by a company called View, which by the way, since my last video, uh, they have since announced that they will start shipping. Only took them $2.2 million in two and a half years, who would have thought it? However, the whole time they've been doing that, a company which has put their time frames to shame is a company called Music Lens, who are making a very similar product, sunglasses and glasses with bone conduction technology. So Music Lens actually went live on Indiegogo in February of 2019 and are ready to start shipping in May this year. But Mark, how do you know they're ready to start shipping? Well, they were kind enough to send some out for us to take a look at today. So although they were kind enough to send them out, uh, this is not a sponsored video and that will not impair my judgment of their product in the end. And basically the one thing which we'll be looking out for is the number one thing that we've been concentrating on when looking at any bone conduction technology and that is sound leakage. So that sound leakage is like the number one thing which is holding back bone conduction technology at this point, seeing people do it kind of badly in the past, like Zungle. You had a salad, I had to it's straight. Straight up noise bleed. Or oh, that weird Star Trek one. Bat band. That does not sound great. You, like you hear this right now. Yeah. You hear this? I mean, you can't be listening to this on an airplane or something. Both, both suck. So today we're gonna unbox the music lens glasses, give them a test, see if they've managed to conquer that bone conduction issue. So if this is your first time to the channel, you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing. So the music lens glasses are available in a couple of different options. The ones they've sent us to look at today are the Vogue sunglasses and then just regular geek glasses. They also come in modern sunglasses as well. Modern sunglasses come in black and I'm not making these colors up by the way. Limited edition Robin egg for $189. Uh, the Vogue glasses come in black and limited edition macaroon cherry red for $169 and the geeks in black for $129 that is just with clear glass in the front of them no prescription if you did want prescription lenses put into them uh, music lens can offer that for an additional $99 so those are the retail prices but music lens have given me a few links which I'll leave in the description down below so you can get 55% off of all of those prices not bad. So I'm going to start with the sunglasses. We're going to take them out of the box and then just talk about the specs a little bit. So yeah, they are attached to a, a piece of card which tells you what all of the controls are. Very nice. It'll be blind for the rest of this video because these are prescription lenses. How do I look? Is it, is it fabulous? Am I fabulous yet? I feel fabulous. Uh, and then we get USB-C charging cable, very good USB-C connection. And then in the little accessories box, we have instructions, cleaning cloth, this weird metal case, but it seems too flat to actually fit these in. So now I'm confused. Why is it so hard? So while looking fabulous, let's talk about some of the specifications of Music Lens. Uh, firstly, Bluetooth 5.0, so music controls, we should be able to play, pause, next track, previous track, uh, all of that. As well as that, it's actually got smart, like, wearing recognition. So similar to like AirPods, you take them out of your ears, it pauses your music. You take these off, your music stops, pretty cool. We have built-in FM radio. Did you know, 2019. People be loving their radio. I guess you benefit of that. You don't actually need your phone for it to work. You could just, you know, go for a cycle, run, listen to the radio, something like that without having to take your phone with you, maybe. Uh, IP54 water and dust resistant, six to nine hours of battery life. Uh, that's when in use, but if just on standby, you can get 48 hours out of them without having to charge them. And then, as I already mentioned, USB Type-C connection in these, which means it has fast charge capability, uh, so you can get a full charge out of these in just half hour to an hour. So, these are the Vogue sunglasses, and then these are... I mean, there's actually no lens in these ones, they're just see-through. These are the, the Geek ones. Is it noticeable? Maybe. A little bit. I don't know. It's definitely a style choice, I guess, compared to some of the other ones we've seen in the past because they've got these very specific points there, which are obviously extend out from the glasses. You know, maybe they'll be better quality than the ones that are trying to hide them as small as they can in the arms of the glasses. You know, they're, they're owning what it is. They're not trying to hide the fact that they're bone conduction. That extra space might give it a bit more quality. However, between the two, there's definitely a slightly different fit between sunglasses and geeks. Geeks, these aren't, they're not pushing on my temple. I don't know if you can see. They're at least, I think, a space away from my actual temple. They wouldn't be pushing on. Are these adjustable? I don't think so. So these wouldn't actually be pushing on my temple, which would 
surely render them useless. So we're going to test them. We'll start with these because obviously I have a feeling that they're going to work better. So in testing these, as I mentioned, the one thing we're really looking out for is leakage. How badly can other people around you hear if you did want to use them in the office, commuting, on a train, on a bus, without other people hearing what you're listening to? So when it comes to music leakage, Music Lens have said, most bone conduction hardware have problems with leaking sound when the volume is loud. Music Lens has their own patent to reduce the sound leakage so people cannot hearing anything playing in Music Lens in a good sound volume. I'm not sure what that means, <laughs> but then that could just be the broken English. Over on their website, they do show this graphic here, which compares Music Lens to Zungle. Obviously Zungle, kind of a, a legacy one we've already talked about. Virtu, I had to look this one up. It was available only for a limited time in China before it was discontinued. So it's a weird one to compare it to, but there we go. Uh, and Sogan, again, never really heard of. But in terms of the sound leakage, so obviously they're, they're owning up, they do leak sound. They're just showing the stats of what they do leak. Uh, at 30% volume, it should only be 18 decibels, 50%, 28 decibels, and 100%, 39 decibels of leakage. So those are numbers. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's actually find out what that means. So we're gonna start, we're gonna turn them on, connect them to my phone first of all. Music lens. There they are. Pairing. Okay, we're paired up. So what I'm gonna do in terms of volume is stick to those figures that they've actually shown there. We're gonna to listen to some music at 30%, at 50% and 100% just to see what the difference in that is. So we'll start off right now. This is probably around 30%. I wanted to pick something with a bit of bass just to see how, how that one physically feels and if that leaks more. So I can hear it, no different really to having headphones in, but I can't hear what it sounds like to other people. Obviously I took it off and it stopped playing because that's one of the features. Here we go, it's playing. Okay, 30%, not too bad. I can't physically hear the song. I can hear like a little bit of bass coming from them but no difference if I was sitting next to someone on the train and they had headphones on and they were turned up quite loud. They are, for some reason, randomly skipping track without me touching anything. There they go again. Is it some kind of movement? Did it again. Nothing. Did it again. The volume just changed. It skipped track, skipped track. <laughs> I'm not touching it. What are you doing? Are they haunted? Is that what this is? Okay, well, I thought I had found the volume. I managed to turn it down. Um, it's not going back up. It's not going, oh, there we, we did something. There we go, it's just very specific. It's right, you gotta know where it is. Um, so we've heard 30%, let's, let's, let's go back up to what I think is about 50. It's about 50. It's skipping track, so. Why? Why are you doing this? Let's just not touch anything. This is 50%. It skipped tracks. Okay, we've disconnected them, reconnected them. We're back to 50%. We're gonna hit play again and just hope it sticks on the same track because I have no idea why it's doing that. So this is What's weird, 50%, I can physically feel the bass. It's like hitting against my temple. It's a little bit of the sound has, quality has gone down a bit from 30 to 50%. This time I took them off and they didn't stop playing. So that wearing recognition is questionable. There we go. Now that wearing recognition isn't working either. But it's good because it means I can hear them at 50%. And so can everyone else from the sounds of that. They're, uh, yeah, 30% is not too bad. I could hear the music. I don't think anyone else would have heard too much. 30% was good, 50% is pushing it, which means we're gonna go on to our last one, which is 100% and this will be interesting. 100% volume. 
let's just see. It's going to feel weird, and I'm pretty sure they'll just turn into speakers. But let's let's find out together. Oh god. Yeah, the the bass is like punching me in the in the skull now. <laughs> it's weird. The uh, the audio is completely distorted at one hundred percent. It's physically punching me in a temple every time the bass goes. And if I had to guess, they're they're basically speakers at this point. But if I take it back down to thirty percent. For me, the audio sounds pretty good. It's just low volume headphones is what I would compare it to. I can't feel it punching me in the temple with the bass anymore, which is good, but it's still there. Slight distortion. I mean, it's not physically in your ears anymore. So you've got to account for, you know, some loss basically. Wonder how badly I'm gonna get the copy striked. Just for variety, I'm gonna see if I can play something other than hip hop, see if it makes a difference, but that's a difficult task because it's like 95% of the songs on my phone. Peace out. Okay, let's go for some uh, red hot chili peppers. We're still at 30%. Still pretty clear. Let's go up to 50%. Can feel the bass a little bit. I imagine you can hear it just a bit more now. And then just as the singing starts to crack up to 100. Oh dear God, they're vibrating on my face. <laughs> That's weird. But 30%. I'm happy with 30%. If I was doing something like running, cycling, driving, I could still hear the music. I can hear stuff going on around me. And I imagine I would probably only slightly annoy people sitting next to me on the train. So these were the sunglasses. We've got the geek ones. As I said, they don't fit quite the same. They're nowhere near my temple. so. Let's just give them a quick try as well, in fairness. These are also paired. We're gonna stick with Red Hot Chili Peppers. We're gonna go for 30%. Doesn't sound anywhere near the same because there's zero connection to my actual temple. So I can hear them kind of like faint music in the background coming from tiny speakers. Then let's go 50%. Again, not feeling anything. It's not touching my temple. I've not got the same bass that I had before. And then let's go 100%. Essentially just turning these into a pair of speakers, which I, the only reason I can feel it now is because it's making the rest of the glasses vibrate on my face. Not loving the geeks. If I had to choose between the two, I would probably go for the sunglasses, the Vogue. Recently, they have put out another image, which I'm going to throw up here. And this is a bit more of a detailed comparison. And now you will notice we've got Zungle, we've got Vertu, we've got Sogan. They've chucked view on the end there. Interesting comparison. The only thing we don't have in this one is leakage decibel comparison. Probably because we don't have that from view yet. Two and a half years in, we still have no idea what they actually sound like. But a couple of places where they're saying they're actually better than view is the IP rating, playtime, charging time, wearing recognition function, which was a little bit patchy when we tried it, price. Uh, and the one that really hurts is just at the bottom there, you'll notice mass production. Their ability to mass produce glasses. Yeah. That hurt. So yeah, my thoughts, um, if you don't mind looking like this and receiving a few looks and you were only looking to listen to your music kind of just as a background activity on a low volume and you were doing other stuff and that's why you needed your ears available as well, then they're not too bad. And as we found out, the second you go over 30% volume, they essentially just turn into speakers. Something that we've seen not only with these, Zungles, Bat Bands, and is also the thing which is causing me concerns when View finally comes out. They've given us no demonstration of what they sound like up until this point. Is it going to be exactly the same? We'll have to wait and see. But there we have it, that's Music Lens. As I mentioned, if you're interested in trying them at all, uh, they're available through Indiegogo in the links in the description down below. Special link, you get 55% off through using that. Uh, even if you just wanted to give them a try, at that much cheaper rate, it might be worth a go, who knows? And the estimated delivery date is sometime in May. I'm hoping, considering I'm holding a physical version of them, that are actually able to deliver that. But if you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you're interested in this type of content and you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the channel. And as always, I shall see you in the next one.